how did you approach your character and how did you view now the fairy tale characters change? Mm. Mm. I I think with Red, I approached her as just the classic um, anti-hero. I love an anti-hero. Yeah. I really do. And I think the fact that she's a villain make, made her that much more interesting to me and made it that much more exciting for me to dig in and be like, ooh, there's so many there's so many sides of her. And I think that that's what makes villains in general very just interesting is yeah. because I don't think villains always think that they're bad. And I'm sure that they, you know, villains do regular things. Villains go grocery shopping and <laughs> they have crushes on people. And, you know, I think telling a villain story is always just so fun and totally. you get to just be a little wild. So I definitely brought that with yeah. with Red. I agree. Even like with, you know, the heroes or the good kids, no one's as good as they seem. And I think Chloe sees that <laughs> throughout sure the Chloe movie. cheated on a test. No, but I think she's got life. like a little like sneak eye, like a heavy side eye on a test at oh, one yeah. point. You know what I mean? Like Are she's sure? definitely, she's done some stuff, you know? Yeah, I don't think she's it? picture perfect. And I think she realizes that she doesn't have to be picture perfect. And it's okay to make mistakes throughout the movie. And I think finding those flaws within her made it even more interesting and even more human to play. And I think a lot of kids that just want to be good for their parents can look up to that because it's true. We're all human. We all make a little mess up. Totally. We always buy the wrong eggs at the grocery store every once in a while. <laughs> you know, there's no, we're all okay. Uh, it happens. <laughs> happens. Acting is a, an exchange of emotion and feelings uh, that the actors has with the, their characters. So I'd like to ask you, what did you take away from Red and Chloe? Ooh, I feel like I took away from Chloe is the perception and openness to whatever is around her. I think she was so narrow minded at the start. And I think finding that journey throughout the movie for her character wise really opened my eyes to, OK, what can I learn from the world? What can I see that maybe I wasn't seen before? And maybe it wasn't even the intentions of trying to block it out. But I just wasn't keeping my head open. Um, so I think I think I took that away from her and also just Fighting. I think I was very fueled by her <laughs> fighting for whatever. No, not her fighting. fighting. I love fighting after the movie. I bought a sword. No. Um, I think now I was... has an extensive <laughs> sword collection. Under my to bed. Chloe. No. Um, but I think I just took her motivation to stick to whatever cause that she believed in and be really strong hearted and stand up for people that maybe weren't able to stand up for themselves. So I think I think she's cool in that way. Yeah, I think. Um, for Red, I think I took away, um, I think I took away, honestly, this is just for the film period, but that black and white concept, I think, is so just apparent all the time. I think that there is so much gray area in everything you do. Being a human is gray area. Like, it's, <laughs> yeah. there's not one right way to be a person. There's no one right way to be in general. So I think that I'm constantly learning things about myself and trying to, um, yeah, just not not place myself into categories. I think that that's mm -hmm. such a, especially being in the public and being on social media, Everyone wants to put you in a, in a box, in a category, in a compare you to something they've seen before. But we're not comparable. We're yeah. individuals. And I think that that's something that Red has taught me a lot about and embracing every little flaw, every little imperfection. So I think, yeah, Red definitely inspired me in that way. Good life lessons. TED Talk with Kylie and Malia. <laughs> <laughs>